Hello. Happy Saturday. It's Saturday. <laughs> Happy Saturday to everybody. I am doing my makeup. Um, I thought I'd come on live here for you while I do my makeup. I am getting ready to go to family's house today and just hang out and have some good times and laugh and probably eat and laugh some more. Um, I promise you I do have a top on today. Um, it looks like I don't with the way my camera is set up right there, but I promise you I do have a, a top on here. So I'm going to go ahead and begin and um, get this makeup on so that I can get out of the house and enjoy my day. I'm going to start like I always do with my skincare. I have the new Vital, the day cream. I'm waiting for my Skin Vincible, skin vincible to show up. So, put this on. Oh my gosh, this always feels so good on my face. Maybe I don't want to s switch to Skin Vincible. This always feels so, this is a new Vital Day Cream. Just feels so, I oh don't know. You need to try it. The reason why I'm trying the Skin Vincible is because it has the SPF 50 in it. So it's higher SPF than these other ones. And I just, I don't know. So what's everybody doing today? With the holiday weekend, is anybody having any cookouts, gatherings, anything like that going on? Or are you just staying home? <clears throat> staying home and resting. Um, I already went out in the yard and worked a little bit today. Of course, and now I'm going to do my eye lift serum or eye lift pro two step system here. Still trying to get rid of some of this hooded eye business. Well, I mean, once you have hooded eyes, you have hooded eyes, but I'm trying to like lift some of this. I think some of it is like if I would have lost, would lose a little bit of weight, it might help <laughs> too. But we'll see. Is anybody big race fans? <clears throat> I don't really follow racing as much as I do like football in the fall, winter. Except last year. Last year I did not hardly watch a football game. I don't know. Just just was not my thing last year. <clears throat> of course I always um, follow the Colts. Living here in Indiana. Sorry, I, I keep having to dip down to get what I need out of my makeup drawer, which is down there. So um, I follow the Colts. I love the Colts. I've been, you know, a big fan of the Colts ever since Peyton Manning. Um, but since Peyton Manning left, it's been a little bit difficult. I do like Luck, Andrew Luck. However, I don't know. They just need to pull it together. Okay, I just got this um, damp. I'm going to try to get some of this uh, liquid foundation out, the um, flawless liquid foundation, but I am running out. So, you know when you get down to the pump and you hear air, 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 squirt, air, 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 squirt, that's where I'm at. And sometimes I don't get, oh, it came right out. I got lucky today. But I like to use every last drop that I can get out of my foundation. Or any of my products, as a matter of fact. I shouldn't just say foundation. Any of my products, like, I'm one of those ones that's like, you squeeze every bit of it out that you can get out. Because to me, that's just money. Now, I'm not so crazy as um, some I've seen as far as, like, with their toothpaste, cutting it open and scraping out whatever's in there. I don't go to that extreme, um, but I do like squeeze 
that toothpaste, what do you want to call it? Toothpaste roll, whatever you want to call that. Toothpaste tube. <laughs> I do squeeze that until you can't squeeze anything else out of it. So I am on this health journey, which if you follow me um, on my personal timeline as well, you will see more there of um, my health journey. I'm trying to get back into going to the gym. I go on my lunch hour because it's just easier for me to go on my lunch, get it done and over with. And then after work, I still have my time to run all my Avon deliveries to customers and um, just do whatever I need to do after work. Because there's always something. There's always something I have to do after work. And um, to go and work out after work would require a lot of rescheduling of things. Um, there's a group of girls that I work with that go on their lunch hour, so I kind of just go with them. I try to go Monday, Wednesday, and I need to incorporate Thursday or Friday in there. Um, we do classes at noon, um, like kettlebell and one called butts and guts. That's Thursdays. So I need to kind of like get that other one in there so that I'm at least going three days a week. Um, just cause right now I've only been going like one or two days a week and that's just not enough. I'm going to mix and match my eyeshadow today. I'm going to go with purple haze, um, quad, which I love this palette. I use it all the time, all the time. Like I can't stop using purple haze and you'll see, look at that. Look at that about gone. So I'm going to mix and match that with the new palette and the Sunset Beach Face and Eye Palettes. I called this Tropical Breeze the other day. I think the liners are like a Tropical Breeze collection, but this is actually Sunset Beach Eye Palette. So I'm gonna kind of mix and match some things here. I want some purples and I want this, but I want this blue. And I might incorporate a few other things in there. We'll see. I kind of just wing it. <laughs> Every day I kind of like, I don't have it all planned out. Like I, if I have an outfit on and I'm like, oh, I want my eyeshadow to kind of like match in, into that. Like I have this blues on. So I do want some blues, but other than that, I don't like, oh, I know exactly what I'm going to wear today with my makeup. No, I just come in and wing it every day. Whatever my whatever boat floats they say. So I'm gonna use this really light purple right here to start my transition. And I'm probably just gonna do an overall, overall the eye. Let's see, I should put some eye primer on first. Let's, let's do some eye primer today. And um, like I said in my last video, I'm down to where I have to kind of like um, use a brush to get this because it's getting down deeper and I don't want it up underneath my nails. I am so excited about having the extra day this weekend. It just gives me that much more time to get things done around the house and rest and relax. So, that's why I, I feel like I can take off today and go visit family because I still got a couple more days to get stuff done. Okay, now back to the purple haze and using the light purple right here. And I decided to just do this in here today instead of in front of my, um, my uh, makeup lights and mirror just to like get this going and get it done. So. And 
as you see that just puts a really I'm kind of like patting it on that just puts a really soft purple light purple color now I think I'm going to put find my other eye thing my brush I'm going to put this deep purple in the crease this deep purple I'm going to put that in the crease And I do this a lot where I have the the light and then the dark purple in the crease or in the sometimes I'll use it just in the corner but I love these two together Sound like somebody was trying to open the door. Probably my dog. It kind of scared me a little bit. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it. Okay. With having this dark in the crease, I feel like it sets off the light color here. But I think I am going to put some blue there. I'm already showing low battery that's not good so if I lose you I will just um, post an image of the final look for today if I like run out of battery I'm softening this up I'm trying to hurry today don't want to make a real long video today <clears throat> now I'm gonna go back in I'm gonna play with this uh, brand new palette this blue I've used it on my lid before, but let's see what it looks like today. Now you can, even though this is a real vibrant color or highly pigmented color, you don't be afraid of it. You can go in and um, put it on and blend it out to make it look light. But I'm just going to use it right here. Okay. So I'm going to like blend this together, soften it up, but I don't want to take too much of the color away. I don't know. Let me see. Let me see what this looks like. I think it'll look really good once I get my eyeliner on there and everything. I might darken it up. Make it a little bit bolder. Okay. Now, I'm going to try this blue liner on. I might end up going with black on the top and blue on the bottom. Let me see, but let me see what this looks like first. Which I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see this in the camera without it me having that makeup mirror. And since it's blue on blue, I'll come in closer. And I kind of got this one wider than that one, I think. Let me see. I think we'll be good. 
make that one wider to match. So a lot of blue there <laughs> to set off my blue eyes, hopefully. But to really not let make this like a daub of blue, I'm gonna like pull it out with the black mascara. Let me find mine here. One of mine, just a second. So we'll use the Nourishing Mascara today. It's the first one I grabbed. Like I want to look bold, you know, the bold and beautiful. But I don't want to look like a street walker either. Ah, oh, look, I got it on my nose. Okay. So that black just really blackens up my lashes. Of course it extends them so that they're more noticeable. Now, um, can't forget our blush. Let's see. I might use that. We can do some contouring. Um, use the dark one here. And here. This shadow will like cut your cheekbone to where it looks. Um, help me not have a double chin today. Let's uh, find my blending bud, blend this out, see what this looks like. Really dab it into your foundation. Now we're getting there. I'm gonna highlight with the light end. This is the new contour stick. And it does go on top of your um, foundation. So we're getting there. Now we're going to put some color. My nose is itching. We're going to use go back to our new palette and use this blush since it's a real pinky blush for summer. Put some color right there, right above where we contoured. Almost, you know, pretty much on it, and but at the top of it. Right here on our chin, down our nose, our forehead, a 
So now we're starting to look alive and not so dead. <laughs> now. <clears throat> Don't know what I'm going to do for lips. Oh wait, let's do some highlighting. I'm using the highlighting powder in Moonlit or Moonlight? Moonlit highlighting powder. I love this powder. I love it. And I just bought some sponges and you can see I use it all the time. I need to wash that out. But come in there and dab your highlighting powder just like this, you know. And then put it at the top here. Top of your blush. It's going to give that glistening glow. Like you see how it's glowing right there? I know I don't have my makeup mirror, but I think I can even see that in the camera. And when the light hits you, the sun hits you, or whatever, it's just going to give that glistening glow. And we're going to put some here. We're going to put some here. And we're going to put some here. Okay. There's that. And I don't know what I'm doing with my hair. To, I tell you what, I get so, like, I don't know. Like, I, I get tired of it just being flat all the time. So I try to lift it up and do things with it every once in a while. So, okay, now lips. Did you see those 21 lip shades? It's the new lip gloss. Uh, lip Glow, I think it is. I don't know. I have to look at it. It's all brand new to me. I'm just now learning it. Um, I will be showing those to you soon and trying every single one of those in, in a video. So stay tuned for that so that you can see all the new shades. <clears throat> but for today... Let me see. We're going to use, I think I used this one in my last one though. My last video. I love um, the one I used in my last video, which is, and I, I can't see, so I have to do these. This one was Rogue. I loved it. I love that. And then what have I got here? Oh, this is Vixen. Or is it Vixen? Rebel. Rebel. Woo! I don't know if I'm going to be rebel today. No, I don't want to be rebel today. We're going to go back to this one. And we're going to take these off. And I overdrawed. But what you could do is anytime you want to fix anything, you can always use a Q-tip, anything like that. Or just your fingers. Just your fingers. Now the trend nowadays is to purposely overdraw to extend your lips and make your lips look bigger. But I don't do that. So there's that. I think that's going to be it. I'm just going to families today. So um, there's my look for today. I'll come in closer. I think the blue matches, you know, sets off my blue shirt here, which you guys cannot see. So I'll move you. See? See my blue shirt? 
but here's my look. So that's my look for today, and I hope you all have an awesome holiday. I hope you're celebrating it with friends, family, or just chilling in front of the TV, rest and relaxing. But I will catch you guys on the next video. And until then, like, comment, and share. Help me keep uh, this page going. And I appreciate every, every single like and share and comment. Thank you so much. And I'll talk to you guys soon.